Today's March 15th, 2019, and this is episode 73 of Plane Savers. Good morning, everybody. We are on the road. We just left high level, and we're stopping so the dog can do its business. Uh, it is minus zero. I mean, I guess that's just regular zero, which is about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, yeah, I just want to stop and say, uh, wish you guys a good, uh, let's say Thursday morning. We're on our way to Red Deer. Should be pretty quick. Oh, hey there, how's it going? We uh, we are just pulling to Red Deer now. So uh, high level to Red Deer was pretty quick, wasn't it? Um, so this is actually gonna be the beginning of an episode I just realized. Um, I don't have to make an episode today because I made one yesterday. I know it's a little bit confusing. Trust me, I'm, it's hard even for me to keep everything in my head. But uh, we got Stuka and Stella uh, here. How was the trip, Stella? Amazing. You're an amazing driver. Good, Stuka. How was it? Was it rough? We're pulling in the Red Deer. We got a car tailgating us, but uh, yeah. Okay, folks. Here we are. Look, there's a Harvard. And so, oh, do you see how many lectures do you see, Stella? I don't know. Three, four. Three. We got three lectures. Look at that, folks. All the fun stuff I get to film tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. So here we are. We're in Red Deer. Lots of snow. Got some Electras. That's pretty neat, eh? But uh, it looks like no one's here. So, uh, hey, Stooks. No one's here, Stooks. So, uh, there we go, folks. I'm going to shut her down here for today. And then tomorrow, I'll meet you right here well here we are folks it is now Friday morning uh, it is minus 2 degrees Celsius which is about I think minus 20 or sorry plus 28 degrees Fahrenheit maybe maybe plus 29 which is good it's nice to get away uh, from the cold into this tropical weather and uh, yeah Red Deer Alberta folks and uh, yeah, so this is uh, day one in Red Deer, getting the sea can ready with all the parts. Uh, and the first step of the day, I don't want to sound too much like Peter McKinnon, but is to get some coffee. So let's start it. Okay, everybody, we are in the Red Deer hangar and I just want to give you guys a quick tour. Uh, we'll start off with a whole bunch of covered cars. So, uh, see my father's here. There he is right there. He offered to uh, to uncover some of the cars and, and show you guys what's underneath all the tarps and everything. Uh, we got BAQ right here. That's the, that's our tanker. That was our first tanker. So BAQ, uh, you know, was Ice Pilot. So you guys all seen that on Ice Pilots, uh, but now she's an air tanker. And, and for the people that don't know what an air tanker is, is I can show you really quick. It's just the normal Lockheed Electra stripped out and it's got a tank right here. It's got a, for firefighting. And uh, this tank right here is, can be filled with uh, fire retardant. And you basically just hook up the fire retardant here, kajunk, pull the plug like that. And as soon as fire retardant comes out, you, you stop and you know that's got 3000 US gallons and you go firefighting. Yeah, just that simple. So yeah, BAQ, so we got BAQ and IJX. Here are both our two tankers. Um, and then we have a P3, Tanker 22 in California right now at a company called Airstrike that is getting ready for fire season. They actually emailed me last night and they need a part. So I'm gonna be working on, on that a little bit off screen today. They need a part for their, for our tanker. In California long story so uh, moving on over here as you can see we got two King Air 100s these are our bird dogs uh, I uh, we got CF Julia Echo Alpha and uh, Charlie Bravo Zulu so they they're gonna be uh, well they are our bird dogs so they fly in conjunction with uh, well not actually the, the Lockheed if they fly with the 802s the Lockheed uses turbo commanders. So yeah, that's another fun fact. Got a sea there, that's Dino sea So hopefully Dino, you're watching, your sea is nice and safe. Ah, geez, look, we got some uh, older cars here. Some old Fords. I think 
pre-19, I don't know if that's a 32 or a 34 up top. Let me know in the comments. I think that's a 30, 31 on the bottom here. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll get my father in to describe a little bit more about the cars. And you see we got all big shelves of parts everywhere. Got electric engines. Yeah. Indian motorcycle. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll let my father go in through more of that stuff. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah, so it's a, uh, yeah, lots of stuff here. Lots of stuff. Uh, and lots of memories too, like these these tanks up here. Those, those are CL215 tanks that uh, we cut out a team of, I was part of a team uh, in France in 2004. And we cut those tanks out. So everything here, as you can imagine, has a long, long story. So here's another shot of the King Airs. See, we've got a cargo pod. And there we go. So I'm going to be here for a while. So I'm going to save a lot of stuff, uh, you know, for future episodes. Like I'm going to do probably an electric tour and all that stuff. But why we're here and the whole nine yards is to get the DC-3 going. Maybe we could uh, talk to my father here really quick. Hey, Dad. Yes, sir. So uh, this is day one in Red Deer. Um, yeah, tell us what we got here. What do we got here? Well, you're digging into all my archives here and then dug, dug out a DC-3 in parts, just like a like Lego. <laughs> you got it all here. You got everything here to build an airplane. And then, um, of course, behind the curtain is more, but you're not allowed in there right yet. I'm going to get this all organized. And we'll see if we have, as we systematically load it, we'll go through the uh, inventory, make sure that we have everything that we need, or you have everything that you need for me to fly the airplane. That's it. Okay, folks, so this is kind of just, just a quick tour. Uh, we got ailerons. Uh, you know, we got to see the two two seats. We got engines. We got the engine from Red, uh, the engine from hey, uh, Yellowknife just came in. Uh, we got a rudder, a nice green rudder that we're going to fix up. It's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Oh, is it? It's not St. Patrick's Day tomorrow, is well, it? Uh, they've started already in Ireland, so it is St. Patrick's Day. You know, St. Patrick's Day is my father's birthday, March 17th. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's yeah. why we've got green rudder for, for old St. Patrick. We'll drive <laughs> all the Protestants out of Montreal. <laughs> I don't know if that's politically correct. Okay, we're outside the hangar right now and I'll show you that uh, the tail sticks out of the hangar here because it can't actually fit. Um, you see the tail is actually taller than the hangar. So uh, there you go. So you got, the <laughs> you got the tail hanging out. Yeah, that's quite funny, eh? Holy smokes, it's icy out here. Uh, we got IZU, another uh, Atlantic Airlines Electra that we have that we haven't uh, uh, imported yet I do, don't believe and here we got uh, Foxtrot India Juliet X-Ray IJX our other Electra uh, and you know with the Electras the props are very very rare so we're utilizing the props while this thing waits for for the summer season as you see it's got a new tank on the back oh we got a Jackrabbit Look at that big jackrabbit. Hope I can zoom in. Look at the size of that thing. Holy, hopefully you can see that on the thing. That was a huge jackrabbit. Okay, so here's the outside of the hangar. Uh, it's a World War II hangar. And uh, yeah, we've had it since the early 90s. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite fun. Oh, there's the Baron. And ZFE. So of course the last time we seen ZFE uh, was when with Jamie showed us the engine. So ZFE's here, gonna be starting on its uh, C check. Uh, we got the Baron. Uh, we got here. Here's our C can. So here's our C can that we're gonna be loading everything up in. So here's a 40 foot C can. Hello. So we gotta utilize all the room. Uh, so this is what uh, the volunteers are coming in today. To help us out with oh we got a uh, Electra over there uh, hopefully our oil arrived so here's some oil drums but uh, yeah so I'm gonna give you a quick shot there's Electra's LBA the CL215s and then various stuff out here yeah very 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 cool we got a 
Cessna over there of some sort. Getting around the Electra, probably going out for a flight. Okay, and you can see, wow, well, we got a Cessna enhancing the audio. We have the DC4 over there. So I'll probably, I will be here for a week, so I'm gonna show you guys lots of the DC4, lots of everything. There's so much stuff, folks, so much stuff. Today's just an introduction day. Uh, it's Friday, hopefully everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, yeah, let's head back inside. Okay, so we are in here, and again, folks, this is all the parts. And we'll be going through more of these stuff uh, in future episodes coming up. As you see, we've got exhausts, tail cones, uh, air stair door, whole bunch of prop tools, engine, pilot and co-pilot seat, trim tabs. Uh, we won't be using these props, like I said. Uh, the cowlings, and a whole bunch of ailerons to pick from. We've got a rudder. Yeah, so man, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, so today, uh, I got a lot of work to do, a lot of stuff. Uh, hopefully I can edit this all together for you guys. You can get just a taste of what the upcoming week is gonna have in store. Whew, I'm excited, folks. We're finally here, finally getting boots on the ground, so. Okay, folks, we're in front of the new hangar, AKA Ronnie's hangar. Uh, this is DTB here. Uh, and WZS right here. So this is our D-Day, original D-Day bird WZS. And we're gonna, Ronnie's gonna be taking the props off tomorrow uh, for our bird in Montreal. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's head inside. We got a couple of the volunteer guys um, stripping some wingtips off of DTH because there was some wingtip damage on uh, our bird. So here we go, watch this. Well guys, how's it going? Thank you. Easy. Put you to work right away, eh? Getting the wingtips um, off. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to be taking this uh, one to Montreal. Now, one thing you guys picked out from the videos that I never known is DTH doesn't have uh, a hamburger door. I would have never guessed. Oh, oh yeah, Ronnie says or a hatch. Hey, Ronnie. No, it's never. They modified. They modified the cockpit, so oh, they right. took it out. So there we go. Um, we got we got to head back to the hangar here. We got a surprise from my father, uh, but yeah, let's so let's head back to the main hangar, and uh, we'll see you over there. But. Hey, folks. Here we got. Oscar's licking me. Ah, geez, geez Louise Oscar, look at it. We got some airplanes. The turbo commanders. Lots of turbo commanders. Oscar, the dog's ever, Oscar, geez, 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 quit licking me. Okay. Oh, oh, geez, ah. So done. I was trying to figure out how to end today's episode uh, because we've got a lot of work to do tomorrow, but uh, I think I found the perfect way. Well, yeah, wish me a happy birthday and give me a couple free days of labor. <laughs> okay, so Stella, you ready? Hey, Stella, you start singing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's go get your cake. That's a lot of happies, isn't it? Yeah. No, we're all pretending. Come <laughs> blow them out, Joe. I'm going to blow them out. I better set up. Pass out. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot there of birthday. Do you cut it yourself? No, you cut it. I don't know. I'm just going to go in the Okay, guys. So that's. I'm going to end the episode there. It uh, gives me a chance to go home uh, and edit this and get it up on the crappy internet so you guys will be in tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, all the volunteers have been crazy busy, uh, so I didn't give me a chance to introduce you to them. But tomorrow, we'll, we'll take time and figure out what everybody's doing. We're polishing, stripping airplanes, packing up sea cans. Everything's been super busy. But that's tomorrow's episode. 
you're going to see all of that. So thank you for sticking in. Wish Joe happy birthday in the comments. It's still a couple days. It's uh, March 17th. So uh, actually you'll be watching us tomorrow anyway. So thank you guys and uh, we'll be seeing you very soon. Cheers.